Good morning. I want to welcome you to our daily devotion time. Uh, beautiful Wednesday morning. Uh, today we're looking at the book of Second John, continuing looking here at the warning against deceivers and false teachers. But today, by the grace of God, I'd like to unpack for you verse number eight. Look to yourselves that we lose not those things which we have wrought, but that we receive a full reward. Uh, as always, we want to start our day with God. We want to start with prayer. We want to start with some quiet time with the Lord. We want to get into the Word and explore who God is and truly is in our life. So let's pray. Father, we thank you for this day. As we begin our Wednesday, Father, I pray that your will would ever be done in our lives. Lord, as we explore your word, as we try to unpack the goodness of who you are in our lives, I pray, Lord, that you would lead God and direct in the name of Christ. Amen. Now, we don't want to lose the things that we already have gained, but we want to receive our full reward. So now John is here writing to the church and her children. False teaching was rampant. And, you know, we, church is like a family. And it was so rampant that the family unit itself needed to be on guard. The family needed to be, needed to uh, consider what teachers they were listening to and sitting under. Why, would you say? least they lose the reward for their good works that they've already done. Believers are to be rewarded for the good works, for their labor for Christ, but there is a danger that they can lose the reward. Now, not lose their salvation, but lose the reward. So what is that danger? Heeding false teaching. If we heed false teaching, we will lose our reward. Now, no matter how much charisma a teacher may have, no matter how much we may like him, no matter how persuasive that he may be, we must not listen to the deceiver. Not if he is denying that God's Son, the Lord Jesus Christ, has come to earth as a man. If we are led astray, we will lose our reward. The psalmist said, Also unto thee, O Lord, Belometh mercy, for thou renderest to every man according to his work. So let's look at this thing, and I, 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 I think I'd like to share it maybe in this way, because this is a strong warning. The believer can lose his reward. The believer is never to rest upon his accolades and become passive toward the truth. So I want to look at a story that I read some time ago of a city slicker who decided he wanted to become a farmer. So he bought a farm. He moved his family out to the country. And the man who sold the farm to him had said, Now, mister, it's just pretty simple out here. It's not rocket science. Till the soil, plant the seed, pull the weeds, pray for rain, and then harvest the crop. Not rocket science. So the city slicker had gotten a good deal on the farm, and it was a good farm. Plenty of rich soil, excellent irrigation, but by harvest time, the city slicker felt that he would be known as a great farmer. But now this is not the end of the story. During the growing season, the city slicker figured, you know what, I bet you I can save some labor cost and not pull the weeds. He reasoned the crops would grow faster than the weeds and smother out the weeds, just shut them up. But what he discovered was a rude awakening. When harvest time came, it was one of the saddest days of that boy's life. What should have been a bumper crop of a lifetime turned out to be a lifetime supply of weeds 
Now, the city slicker had been given the opportunity of a lifetime, but he lost it all because the weeds had choked out the crops. He lost his reward. Now, I want you to think about this. In the same sense, the Christian believer can have a field of blessings in store. But if false teaching is allowed to take over, it will ruin the fruit in a believer's life. Now you've come too far to turn back. Keep on weeding out the lies and the deception. And remember harvest time. Now as you go through your day, I want you to think about a couple things. Have you ever lost a reward or a prize because you left your guard down? What did that make you feel like? Would you do it differently if you had another chance? When you're most likely to get caught off guard, can you keep yourself alert to the dangers? Ponder on that today. Father, we just want to say thank you. Thank you for letting us rise this morning. Thank you for the blessings of the Holy Spirit that guides and directs the footsteps of our life in this journey. God, I just want to praise you in Christ's holy name. Amen.